Hey everybody, this is uh, No Skilled Required Podcast Episode 2. Two. Uh, second week. Uh, last week was pretty good for us. Yeah, first got week. It, got it started. Got more views, I think, we than we expected. Definitely. I'd yeah. like to say thanks for everybody who uh, liked and subscribed to our channels and Facebook pages. And if you got any feedback, leave yeah. us some comments. Uh, we could always use that. We'll read them. We, we need it. We need the feedback. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, again, we should have another three videos. We already have one up this week. Oh, yeah. Probably two by the time, Probably two by the time you're hearing this. <laughs> and uh, if we keep up at the rate we're going, we might even up the video schedule. Yep. Yep. Um, so, yeah, but this is the podcast. This is us talking. Uh, we have cameras in. We just haven't set everything up yet. So maybe the next couple of weeks we'll have it up as a video podcast. If not, it'll be this again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> woo! Thanks for listening to this as well. I know it's a little more difficult without a video. Um, yeah. Put it on the background. It's yeah. cool. We don't Clean mind. In your house, whatever. Yeah, take I, a shower, <laughs> even. This is a comedy <laughs> podcast. Yeah, we're talking video games, but we, have, we talk shit about each other and everything else as well. Um, so, yeah. So, so true. I guess to start with, we should uh, introduce who's here. We got Andrew. Yep. We got Alex. Hello. I'm Willie. And Beef and Cheese is here as well. Nick. Hey, guys. Hey, Nick. <laughs> All right. So, uh... <laughs> so, so for this podcast, we plan on doing a little game at the end uh, called Would You or Would You Not? We'll get into that later. But let's first talk about uh, stuff. So last week, No Man's Sky came out. Woo! And like uh, seemingly the like, knee-jerk reaction was this game sucks mm-hmm. by a lot of people. And I, you know, because it probably just sucks because it wasn't what they were expecting. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Anytime yeah. there's a lot of hype. Um, and Every time. Every so time. that got me thinking: Has there ever been any game that, like, our movie or TV show, that like online reaction has like deterred you from like playing or watching uh, it, <laughs> and then like maybe later you go back and you played it or watched it, or even like never did, and never went back. Yeah. To well, uh, one that's topical right now is Suicide Squad. Uh, I'm not really gonna go see that movie because everyone I've heard uh, from says it's fucking terrible, yeah. and I just I go online and I see everybody like Rotten Tomatoes is like a 26 percent, and I'm Ooh. just like, mm. yeah, yeah I'm probably like you, not gonna go spend <laughs> ten dollars to yeah, see you that. You want to give it a chance, but I bet it's still Ooh. a pretty decent action Ooh. movie. Uh, it's it, probably okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's like Batman versus Superman. I never, I didn't go watch that. Yeah. Or anything, and it was the same way. This movie sucks, but like everybody, like I know personally who watched it, who doesn't pay attention to online, they just like, the enjoy it. Yep. They really liked the movie, especially the uh, director's cut or whatever that came out mm, later. The like on. rated R cut that yeah. came out. Uh, but seemingly that's a little more like overboard than the mm-hmm. actual movie. And Suicide Squad, I think they expected like I know people were upset there's not enough Joker in it shit like that but I mean you watch the movie you watch the trailer the music they're using kind of let you know what the movie yeah. is going to be so I mean you're used to Marvel big epic comic book movies you shouldn't have went in the Suicide yeah. Squad with that that I wasn't mean, what that is that is an action movie using comic book characters I think we're spoiled by Marvel yeah like a lot because <laughs> those movies are really fucking good and then, I don't know, it's just always been the Marvel-DC thing, where Marvel always makes pretty decent movies, and then DC's like, we got yeah. Batman. They got shit movies. <laughs> Batman, though. But they do really well with their animated universe. Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. All the direct DVD anime animated movies, I have not watched one that I really didn't like. Because they take the source material and they keep it true. And DC yeah, cinematic universe, movie universe, whatever is Zack Snyder's fucking thing. And that dude is just jerking off all over himself (laughs) every single movie he's doing. It's just like... (laughs) I mean, from Watchmen to Batman and versus Superman, that dude is... And I know Suicide Squad wasn't Zack Snyder, but, you know, it has to fit in his his idea of what the cinematic universe is. His Uh, design. Yeah. Well, that's really true. Even, like, I can remember as a kid, like, the TV shows I watched were, like, Justice League and 
Batman, all the Batman series, and I, I wasn't somebody who would, like, sat down and watched Spider-Man on TV that much, because, like, you, you don't watch Spider-Man on TV, you watch Batman on TV, you watch mm-hmm. Justice League, you watch I mean, Teen Titans. In the 90s, Marvel had really good, and, like, X-Men, uh, mm-hmm. Spider-Man was really good, but I remember being, like, in my teenage years, and, like, they had those shows, but they were not that good. Um, but Marvel's had just you know, like you said, Justice League Unlimited, Justice League Adventure Superman, Batman, the animated series, which is probably the best. It's a good fucking show. There's <laughs> a lot of good animated Batman yeah. series. Yeah. Batman Beyond. Yeah. I love Still that. Still pretty one. good. Static Shock. That's a DC oh. character. That guy's awesome. I, I actually watched watch that show. Yeah, that's a good show. Fly around on manhole <laughs> covers. <laughs> yeah. Because he's Static Shock and those are metal, so he can use it. Yeah. DC's got their CW shows. Well, yeah. That's what they got. Which is another problem flash. is like their movie universe is completely ignoring there. It's a different Flash and everything else. And that's not what they, I mean, fans, if you're, if you have fans watching religiously a TV show, and you're going to continuity. Make, you got a movie. <laughs> Put that guy in that show. How yeah. hard is it? You're already paying him. Yeah. <laughs> He's already on your DC payroll. And what? I, Marvel did that with like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., didn't yeah. they? they? They put out their TV show and it's like, hey, yep, it's all the same universe. Same people. It's all connected. Net, their Netflix series are like part of that. I mean, yeah, Jessica Jones. Uh, yeah, Dever, Daredevil. Daredevil. And now, and, I heard the show's really good. Uh, I haven't watched Luke it. Luke Cage. Luke Cage is coming out, and they have an Iron uh, Fist one yeah. coming out, and then the Defenders, and it's yeah. all part of that universe, which is leading into their just swimming in money. Yeah. <laughs> Superheroes aren't going to go away anytime soon. Oh no no no. <laughs> what about you, Nick? Anything you ever uh, want to play or didn't play because? People online were like, "Man, that game sucks." Um, tr- just true to that statement. Uh, actually, I have two uh, two games to talk about because yeah. uh, so when XCOM uh, Declassified, the the third over the shoulder third person oh, yeah. shooter came out, yeah. I was like, "Oh, that looks kind of neat." They're changing up a little bit, uh, but I didn't really see the gameplay. But I read the reviews, and that game scored poorly. It, people did not <laughs> yeah. like it. Uh, it's like the lowest rated XCOM game. Yeah, oh, it, well, it absolutely <laughs> is. And um, just because, like, last year, I think, when XCOM and everything, all that, they're having a big, like, summer sale, all of the XCOM franchises on, like, 70% off. I picked it up because it was, like, 7 bucks or something like that. Yeah. yeah. And I've played through most of the game, and honestly, if I didn't, uh, like, read reviews and stuff, I would have picked up that game, I would have played it, I would have enjoyed it. And I would never have thought, like, oh, this is a bad game. And, yeah. But... But I didn't pick up for so long because it's like, oh, it's not worth my time because people say it's bad on the internet. But the other, the other bigger, bigger one for me was Call of Duty. We just played that um, this past weekend, yeah. and my first time playing anything past Call of Duty Two, which I lied to you when I said that was my last Call of Duty game. I did buy World you of traitor. War. You I buy, I bought oh, World yeah. of War last year. Mm. Um, but I haven't played like Modern Warfare or Ghosts <laughs> or Black Ops or any of that. Uh, just the Call of Duty 2, uh, 3, and then uh, World at War. Yeah. But it's all on PC. And then we played that one match of Call of Duty, and I was like, man, I could sit here and play this game. I was like, I just... It's fun. I, we played one round, and I was like, oh, I can see why people just waste their time playing this, like, the this game. The thing with Call of Duty, Call of Duty is not necessarily like people hype the game up too much and it's not good. You should expect the same thing from Call of Duty... Year in and out. There mm-hmm. should be no elevated hype for anything when it comes to Call of Duty. Right. It is a standard, classic first-person shooter. That's all it is. That's good, though. I mean, I get, like, some of the criticisms for Call of Duty is it doesn't change. It's wrench, wash, repeat, whatever. Yeah. But, like, they're bowing to the internet pressure right now. I mean, if you they announce zombies in... Uh, Infinite Warfare. Infinite Warfare. Yep. And it's also, like... like 1980s space zombies or something? I don't... Well, <laughs> I, everybody, everybody's, everybody's tired weird. of the future, so they want it to be back in real life. They want another World War II shooter, which I don't really care. I'm, I'm going to buy Call of Duty regardless. <laughs> it's going to be it's gonna be fun regardless. Yeah, the games are never bad. It's just you play a couple and you're like, well, yeah. I played these, so I don't really want to yeah. get a new one. You keep playing the same game I've already played. The big problem with Call of Duty, though, is like, you have two hour campaign and then you have to go play online and the learning curve for that because well, there's guys out there half the people don't even play campaign yeah. they're just strictly yeah, straight, straight multiplayer yeah, that's honestly me I haven't played Black Ops 3 campaign I didn't play 
the, whatever the last one was, Advanced Warfare's campaign, I just played multiplayer because that's what I, that's what I'm there for. I yeah. play the multiplayer because I I find the multiplayer fun. But see, it had like this kind of stigma, like this community associated with it that like I had heard for years that it's always been growing. Like, oh, they're COD players or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. So and it always, it always kept me away from the game. But like we played, and I got like third place, good. Yeah. And I was like, man, I could, well, man, I could play this game. Destiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they all went to Destiny. They all went to Destiny. It's and then just... they went to the Division. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a game I I kind of wanted before it came out. And then, I don't know, I heard good things and then not good things. And then it just kind of, like, disappeared. And I was like, eh, never mind. Yeah. Division hit like that. Uh, Watch Dogs, I think, hit like that. Oh, oh Watch Dogs. Yeah, Home <laughs> Front. Home Front. Burned. Watch Dogs, what, they announced that like three years ago, and then it came out finally, and then people are like, oh, yeah. But yeah, they yeah, have, they're making they a have, second they, one. They the trailers were like, hey, you can do all this cool hacking stuff, and they show like the guy, like, change the lights and like up the, um, yeah, like, looks at someone's the barriers and stuff. And stuff. And it's like, that's really cool. And, like, you're like, oh, look at all the cool stuff you can do. And then you get in the game and realize, like, that's pretty oh, much all you can do. Yeah. <laughs> <that's it. laughs> yeah. You can drive the car and everything. <laughs> they showed you everything, right? I know. Everyone wanted to play Watch Dogs. Now that. Not a big shooter fan. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. What about you, Andrew? Anything you've not played because of negative I mean, hype? Or maybe played for positive hype and just got to it. It was like, man, I don't know what the fuck people were talking about. And that was kind of like uh, when Destiny came out, I was like, really on the fence and yeah. played it for a little while. It was just like, just doing the same thing over and over. Yeah, yeah Destiny, <laughs> Destiny <laughs> was like, you either loved it or hated it. <laughs> And that's all I heard at the beginning. Because, like, I heard a lot of people that I listened to, they are like, oh, this game's so fun. And I was like, okay, I'll get it. It's from the people who made Halo, so sure. Uh, and then I played it. I played it for a while, and it was fun. It just, it's repetitive. It's the yeah. same thing over and it's, over again. It's an so. MMO shooter. Oh, yeah. do that strike again. Oh, yeah. sweet. Yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, you gotta I, put 12 hours into it to complete this thing. Oh, I don't have 12 hours. Guess you can't do it then. Okay. Now it's like a whole thing where it's just like, yeah, buy your way to max level. Yeah. Uh, well. So, so I guess we're doing this with everything. Yeah. Got all of those microtransactions. I mean, I tried League of Legends because a lot of people were like super into it. And I hyped it up and like I did the tutorial and then like <laughs> one match with some bots and I was like, Ah, this isn't <laughs> for me at all. I'm not gonna lie. I played League of Legends for like a year, pretty much every time I had free time. Yeah. Uh, we we used to get there on Friday nights, Saturday nights, and play all night till like five in the morning. You know, ten, eleven, twelve matches, whatever it is. And I mean, we put money, we put a lot of money in that game, just buying like skins for each other. Because we you always buy the champions. We too. always buy. We well, we didn't usually spend it on champions because our stuff you can get for free. Yeah. Um, but like the skins were. Only with yeah, the, the only. RP he had to buy, and I mean we we all had our favorite champs, so we bought skins for our favorite champs, and we'd play hours of that game. That's yeah. that reminds me of what I did with Black Ops Two, where <laughs> it was me and my brother. We would it'd be like eight o'clock, we'd get started, and then all of a sudden it's six o'clock in the morning, and it's like oh we just played Call of Duty all night long, over and over, doing the same thing over and over. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, oops. Probably shouldn't do that anymore. And then next night, <laughs> there we are again. Yep. I I'm not one for like video games. I play what I want to play. A lot of shit I play, people don't like anyway. <laughs> but one of my favorite shows is Sons of Anarchy. And around like the fourth season, I try to get into like the community online. And there there was a lot of like, well, here's the problem with Sons of Anarchy, and they point out like obvious things that you probably don't notice you don't think about it and immediately yeah. after i read that i watched an episode and i couldn't enjoy it because everything they pointed out was like it was boom oh, right man, in my like a little bit overacting there and you know a little exaggerated it's exaggerated way more than it could and you watch it like oh and it took everything that i liked about the show and made me dislike it a little bit and i was like fuck that it's like those with people that like something so yeah. much they just start to hate it because they just break it down. They're like, oh, this should be better. Th- this should be how I think it should be. Well, you have Preston <laughs> Jacobs. He's a YouTuber who does... He does theories for A Song of Ice and Fire. And then around season three or four, he started doing, um, anal- analyzing the TV show compared to the book. 
which I watched that, and for it started out as, well, this is what's in the book, this is what they took out, and here's probably why they did it. And then he started doing reviews of the season, mm-hmm. and I watched that guy so religiously, I enjoy everything he does, that the last season... I didn't watch like then. You, yeah. I took me forever to actually watch it. <laughs> it took you because I would watch the reviews and be like, man, I just don't want to watch that. That sounds so crappy. But then like it's really I, good. I sat down and in two days watched every episode of the last season, and it's enjoyable for what it is. I mean, it's not the book, and yeah. you got to take it as a separate. He has thing. a hard time like differentiating that, and because clearly he likes the book a lot. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he made a whole channel pretty much yeah. for the book. Yeah. The best part of that, though, when he met George R. R. Martin, he just shrugged him off in all of his theories. I felt so bad for Because <laughs> he was like, oh. He's talking about that. He's like, he asked him all these questions about, George, you know, tell me about your, you know, your prior works. Is there, like, continuity between all your works and then Song Eyes? And he's like, uh, he that, just, you know, he's like, completely dodged a, the question. Yeah, he was like, that was a long time ago. Like, oh, yeah. they, they know. <laughs> they know my secrets. See, that was a long time. I, when he gave that answer, I was like, oh. Oh, Preston, you put all this work into this yeah. this huge overarching theory behind <laughs> everything. And he's like, ah, that was a long time ago. But if you're a fan of A Song of Ice and Fire, check out Preston Jacobs. He is really good with his theory videos. It's always really interesting. They're really yeah. interesting and really outlandish, but he usually will tell you at the end, you know, I'm probably wrong. But yeah, that's He likes of, to speculate, that, which kind of, of makes it yeah. fun. Um, it's fun to speculate on that kind of stuff. But those are like... I still haven't watched the last season of Walking Dead for the same reason. It's like, oh, it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, eh. That kind of how, it, that was how it was with the season before that. But I didn't dislike it. But I got it got in my head enough that I didn't watch it. So it works. I mean, yeah. and that's a problem with a lot of things. There's a lot of good stuff that comes out that doesn't get seen because the knee-jerk reaction and not letting things develop especially with TV shows and even video games. Like, you can't play an hour of a video game and give a full review of that game. No. You can't watch one episode of a TV series and give you full... Because there are some TV series that are classics that you have to watch as a whole. Because if you just watch, like, the first two episodes, they mean, they're awful. But when you get to the breakdown of it, and it's like all completely done, you're like, oh, so that's why that was that way and that way. And it's really good. But it, it doesn't prevent it from happening. Yeah. Going back to The Walking Dead, the whole reason I stopped watching is just because everybody liked that show at first, and then it everybody just started shitting on the show. Like, it was a overnight thing where everybody loved that show, and everybody, everybody watched it, everybody talked about it. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden, people are like, ah, it's The Walking Dead. It's like, I still kind of like that show. But then I just stopped watching because, like, uh, nobody else watches it anymore. I mean, it was pretty good for a few seasons, but it was just like, there was something where you would watch it and there was nothing that really made you want to watch the next episode. Yeah. yeah. Which kind of like, uh, I kind of I kind of see where this is going. It's, it's kind of the problem where it, the whole theory behind the comic book was what happens once the zombie apocalypse movie ends. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what The Walking Dead is. It's supposed to be, well, that happened. And these people still live yeah, in this there's world. There's still tons of people everywhere and trying to so survive. And so they executed that really well in the comics. And I think in the first three seasons... It was good. It, they did that really well. But they kind of lost their way. They, I, For some reason, they feel the need to introduce like five new characters every season. Yeah. And yeah, you pretty much know like at least three of them are going to die. Yeah, somehow. because like you, they mm-hmm. have to have cannon fodder and there's certain characters they don't want to kill. Yeah, the group can't be like 40 people big. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> so, wouldn't work. you know, and then people, some of the complaints about it though, is like, well, they're not losing weight. They're, not. yes, it's, I, it's there's got to be suspension of disbelief. You have to understand <laughs> that this is going to happen. Okay. Yeah. These actors aren't going to be method and like, uh, you can't, you, you've been in this zombie apocalypse for a, two years now. You how's haven't your, really, how is your character your fingernails fingernails are really grown? And, you eat like three times a week, so we need you to lose weight as if you only eat one meal three times a week. You're going to crawl for this entire episode because you're starving and you don't have any energy. <laughs> it's <laughs> like, why is there a beach underwater in SpongeBob? Because it's a fucking TV show. That's why. Okay? Don't there's, question it. There's actual <laughs> fan theory is one of the first testing for the atomic bomb. Is that a bit the bikini atoll, yeah. Yeah. And that's what led to the creation of Bikini Bottom. Yeah. 
they did underwater uh, like atomic testing. Oh, jeez. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. SpongeBob theories. <laughs> I love SpongeBob. SpongeBob's I great. I hated that show when I was a kid. Why? What the fuck? Is I just wrong didn't with think you? it was very funny, and then I became like a teenager, like you know, young adult, and I found it hilarious. It's because they they pepper in like more mature jokes yeah. throughout every episode, and then you watch it as a kid and it's funny, and then you watch it as like you get older and you're like, you're like oh, there was oh. a lot to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love shows like that, kid mm-hmm. shows that they're like, so I want for the adults here. Yeah, and then something going on for them. Some adults love it, and then some adults just go, "That's not appropriate," and then, and then kids aren't allowed to watch it. <laughs> Grandpa is one of those shows that does that. It's very much an adult mm-hmm. show. That's like every show that's out now. It's yeah. just like mm-hmm. kind of pushing it with the yeah. adult content there. Yeah. The uh, you think you think they really are, or do you think that's just our perception? Of it? I think it is. I think okay, you're. I feel the, like the, definitely. <laughs> I think they're doing the it adults with kids of that age now were the kids whose parents wouldn't let them watch anything, so mm-hmm. everything they did was behind their backs. And as that generation got older, they're like. That's not what I want my kid to be. I want them to watch the stuff that I liked when I was a kid because it was on the nose yeah. like that. And it didn't treat me like I was five. It, tri- it treated me like, hey, this is for an odd, broad audience. Mm-hmm. You're going to get part of it. And maybe later when you come back and when you're You'll older. You'll get something else. Yeah. And I, that's the generation we're in. And eventually it'll come full circle again and they'll be, you know. Super strict. Yeah. It, it, it flows like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we also live in the generation where it's like everything I liked as a kid, I can still get a hold of. So all my <laughs> kids are gonna watch that. Yeah. Like I. Ah. Man, I'm never gonna get rid of mine in '64. Yeah. So. <laughs> be like, like, Dad, can I get your new Xbox? But no, you're gonna play this first. You're gonna like. You're gonna play this. You're gonna play this till you appreciate it. There's an order here. How you, many? You get how, the 360. Yeah, how many five-year-olds <laughs> out there have a Super Mario bedroom? And have have no clue who that Mario is because it's the. It's like I like Mario. It's like, have you played? No, the you game? don't. No. It's like, like my they, kid. They play she like loves. The, she loves Mario. Mario. Yeah. But she is <laughs> played Super Mario played. Maker. Yeah. Like yeah, she loves Mario. She doesn't know anything about him, where he's from, or anything. But it's a dude with a mustache <laughs> with suspenders that's on a spaghetti. That's pan. hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's so funny. I love him too. He's a plumber. What? He's got a dinosaur. What? <laughs> I love Yoshi. Do you? No. no. I always play as Yoshi in any Mario game, though. Oh yeah. Because I like to go. Yoshi. Oh god. Wow. That was <laughs> that was that was awful. That was something else. <laughs> Yoshi. Also. Oh, man. Uh, man. Uh, on that note. <laughs> uh, so. uh... I guess we're done with that. So, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Uh, transitions are something we'll work on. Um, <coughs> uh, so, <laughs> our transition. <laughs> part two of the podcast. Ooh. Um, so, the parts now. The part where it gets uh, funny. Oh, yeah. Uh, would you or would you not? It's a simple oh, game man. in which you're presented with a scenario. <laughs> and you have, and, you, and the answer is simple. Would you or would you not? And then, you know, sometimes, if you don't, We'll give you an incentive or something else that you could do. We'll, we'll, it'll, it'll explain itself as it starts. Pretty so, free form. Let's go so, first. Who wants to go first? Um, I've got one. I'm, you got yeah, one? Go I for it. Go yes. ahead. All right. So, hey, are we doing is it, is it ask everybody or are we yeah, asking just one? Ask everybody. Let's throw it out there. We were in a group when we were doing this earlier, yeah. and it worked out really well, all so right. we can do that. So the scenario is you all have terminal cancer. Okay. Uh, rest peace, I pray for y'all. Uh, though there's only one way to cure it. Uh, they, the scientists, they've been working hard, they discovered. Yep. The cure to your cancer is dog shit. So you have to eat. And it's, it's not, you have to eat a lot of it. You have to eat like a whole punch bowl of dog shit. Oh. Is this like once and it's cured? Or is this like on the daily? Uh, you eat, you eat it once a month. Oh, God. A punch, a punch bowl? bowl? A punch bowl God. once a month. But you only had to do it for three months. But you have to, like... So you have to get a punch bowl full of shit... Yep. Three times. Yep. In one setting. Yep. And you probably have to keep it down, or else it doesn't If you... Yeah. If it has to digest. If you throw up, you, gotta if you, throw up, you have to add <laughs> one more month. You gotta, month on you gotta get that probiotics from the shit in there. Mm. Yep. Um, That's how it works. But it's gonna save my life. <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, absolutely. 
Well, what kind of cancer are we talking about? Just um, terminal, just go esophageal cancer. Esophageal. Ooh. Oh, is that what we're eating? <laughs> So, yeah, that's so why we're eating the poop. It's got to coat the <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, so the uh, bacteria. <laughs> I feel like eating like, that much poop would just kill me anyways. No, yeah. you're, well, you're gonna they, end they up. They found a loophole. You're gonna get some sort of hepatitis from it, but hey, you're not. So, it can't be healthy. Your liver shuts down, but you're not dying from cancer. <laughs> from cancer anymore. Now you're just uh, I probably probably do it. Just go oh, like absolutely. on vacation or something, so I wouldn't die full of shit. <laughs> oh, Nick, <can> you do it. <laughs> yeah, I think I would do it. Because uh, I don't know, I can if I, I can sit down and do I can put my mind to that. You I can sit, sit down and eat a bowl of shit. I can sit down and do that if I had to. If I have to sit down and eat a bowl of shit, damn it, I'm gonna sit down and eat a bowl of shit. No one's gonna stop me. I'll just let the cancer take me. <laughs> you say that now, but you're like you're like four months into your cancer. You're, you're on an IV drip because you can't eat anything, and they're gonna they tell you you can eat this bowl here. Just choke down this shit, man. <laughs> Just choke it down. This shit right here, man, it's going to save you. I guarantee you in three months, you're done. Three okay. months, it's gone. We're Mission, okay. you know, you're clear. No fear. This dog's been a little constipated. This shit's a little harder than usual. Can so I get a clothespin for my nose? <laughs> you can put a little condiments on there. Put a little barbecue oh. sauce on there. Some barbecue dog Ooh. turds. Nah, they some just garlic make it, salt. Make it diarrhea, so it just slides oh. on down. You just mix it in a blender oh. with some water? Yep. Oh, oh God. <laughs> God. Why? Why? Delicious. Oh, yeah. Why? We're having such a thoughtful conversation before this. Everything was so good. <laughs> it all breaks down in the end. Yep. <laughs> just like that poop. It all turns into <laughs> shit. Yep. All right, God. who's next? Oh, I'm still thinking of one. Uh... All right, I guess I'll go for one. Right. So... You become like the ultimate master at like sword fighting or like playing an instrument. Anything that requires your hands, but your hands and your feet switch places. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, do I play it with my hands on my? They're like on my. Yeah, where my feet. feet would be? You have feet for hands and hands for feet. So do we walk on our? our you we walk, still on walk on, on our feet. You walk on your palms. If they would be where your feet would be. So we so, so we sword fighting with my ass in the air. Yes. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Or like playing like a didgeridoo or something. With my ass. Wait. How did you get that? How did you get that out of the hands and the feet? <laughs> well, if my my okay, if I'm playing a fucking flute or a trombone, and my heads where my, my you find a way to make it work. <laughs> You're a master. You can do anything. <laughs> Oh man! I'm sticking a clarinet in my ass and playing a tune that no one's heard before, but it's the most beautiful thing you ever well, heard. It could be anything with your hands. It could be archery. Archery. Oh, okay. you know? see, I don't know if I do. You it could be a painter. It would be. It'd be cool and all. I'd be a master or something, but I'm a fucking freak. <laughs> I'm just a freak. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna wipe something off your face? You? Oh, I'll kick myself oh, in the oh, face? Oh, dude, but you're a master. You can. Yeah. I'm. I'm fucking making money off that. Besides being a freak. Which is going to get you in the door, like, hey, check out this dude on YouTube who plays a fucking guitar with his feet hands. <laughs> he just released the best ghetto album, Garen fucking Teed. <laughs> so not only am I a freak, I'm amazing at it. <laughs> really good at being a freak. Oh, I'm going to make buku money. <laughs> buku money. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> It'd be interesting. You know, I, I actually I think I would not do it either. Uh, I'd be wearing socks on my feet. Still, <laughs> you give great hit. high fives. Oh yeah, with the foot. Oh, <laughs> your claps oh would be super loud. Oh um, man, giving people athletes foot on their hands. Oh god, <laughs> that, that, <laughs> but that would yes, it would, Nick. Shush. <laughs> athletes foot. <laughs> athletes hands. Athletes hands. Give yeah. them the hands. All right, next one. Nick, you got anything? Alright. Oh, I wouldn't take it either, by the way. Oh. So, <laughs> so Am I the only one? I'd have feet hands. I really thought about feet. it. Like, could I live that way? This is my life. I'd, I'd be a millionaire. I'd fucking... Fucking... Alright. You could type with your feet? Whore myself out so hard. <laughs> Whore what? myself out. What? Oh, fucking market myself. I'm the foot hand guy. Listen to me. Mr. Foot Hands. Put me on Oprah. <laughs> so I got one. I got one. Okay. All right. You have to get. All right. Would you give up your ability to pee standing up? 
who says I do that anyway. Okay. I like to be you're give up give up your ability to pee standing up in order to run twice as fast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Yes. That was an yeah. easy one. I don't pee standing up anyway. I like to sit. I like okay, to man. tuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Push it down. She's <laughs> show his boss. <laughs> Show it to spot. Get down there. Get in the toilet. I use my balls as like a rock that you like when you go fishing. You just lean your uh, oh. like fishing pole on a rock. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, you dude, you got the, one. You watch the tension. I do that when I pee. I guess I'm the only one who really just kind of like takes it. Like, <laughs> I really kind of appreciate the ability to pee standing up. I mean, it's nice. Well, run twice as fast. And and you run twice as you fast. You can squat. It's not standing up, Which, right? Which, for me, <laughs> isn't really saying much, because I'm not a fast runner. No. So. You could get, you could be in an NFL. Still do no. Yeah, I'm a big dude, Rookie. so if I could, like, pack the, like, the heat of running twice as fast. Yeah. Try out for an NFL team. Doubles double, you know. Even if it's not a high number. Alright, so. I, I think I've asked, maybe, I know, I think I've asked Nick this one. Okay. So. You're going to have sex. Any girl you want. Yeah, we're getting to this point already. Any girl you want, any time you want, all you have to do is ask. But every time you do that, you lose an inch randomly on some part of your body. Random <laughs> inch. Your nose shrinks an inch, your ear. Or, not necessarily an inch, but equivalent to what an inch would be like for that. Like, and like volume or something. Yeah, you're, you're not going to lose. On our scale of person, an inch and then just... Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. Anytime. No. I, 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 cause I turned Not into a once? freak. You wouldn't do it just <laughs> once? Like, oh, why is your pinky like so yeah. much smaller so on that? You don't hand. have to use that all the time. I you guess know? you're right. Yeah. I'd fucking be a monster. Sure. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I would be a monster. Sign me up. I'll take it. I'd be limping on a cane because one leg's like four inches shorter than the other. <laughs> I got one hand that's like Fucking like a baby. Yeah, like hand. a dead, got a Deadpool. Hand. <laughs> you know, my <laughs> ear is like almost non-existent. Like what? Does what it eventually you? does does your do your pie parts eventually just go away? Yeah, no, I guess they would just continuously like. Is it always an equivalently random part in your body, yeah. or does it have like a list? No, it's always just random. So it could be like the same part multiple times it could without be. being other parts. You get body. your dick three weeks in a row. <laughs> Damn it! That's all of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone. I think I would actually have to go with no for the same reason I didn't do the hand foot switching. <laughs> Ever? Oh, you wouldn't do it. I, I don't think I, I could do it. Once. I don't think I would do it because I would be too freaking preoccupied with what. Once, what, what if that one sure. inch is like, like? What? I'd do it once and fucking ruin it by like trying to fuck someone of my friend's moms. Just be like, just, <laughs> just like any woman in the world. It's like originally this game. The first time I ever played it, my buddy goes, "He's been saying he'd do it for years." You can fuck any girl in the world once. Who would it be? And I said. I'd probably waste that and just use it to fuck with you and have sex with your mom. <laughs> and that's the type of person. I'm such a dick that I would ruin it and just start <laughs> fucking with people I know. Oh, uh, 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 Willie doesn't need that kind of power. Nick in a dress. <laughs> that doesn't, does that count? You said woman. I did say woman, but say woman. you know, yeah. nowadays that word is. You can be whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be. You can just assume Nick's um, gender. Yeah, well, Nick. You can't, but I, I assume my gender. You can't just tell me that I have a great. I have a, Nick, you have a choice, man. You can I do. do whatever you want. I can be whatever I want to. Yep. Oh, Nick's a stain Stop being oppressed, Nick. Stop. <laughs> I want to be a man. dolphin. You're oppressing yourself with your own ideas. <clears throat> All right. Next. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I'll go back to the, this one again. You can have sex with any girl in the world. Anyone you want. <laughs> we're down. The, we're we're down. We this is gonna be the theme. This is it. Yeah. Uh, yep. Anytime, anywhere. Uh, but when you do it, there's a 1% chance that you will get cancer. <laughs> one Every time is 1%. Every time is 1%. It, it doesn't stack. Okay. Every time is 1%. Sure. 1%. Yeah. Yeah. I, could, I, I mean, I go to chemo eventually. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm a horrible person, is what we found out in this game. Uh, <laughs> Willie will do a lot of horrible shit if he can. If he can go to chemo, it's all good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like the effects of things aren't going to affect me. What about you, Nick? Um, I have a girlfriend. Yeah, I have a so girlfriend. I, yeah, this well, is as if you don't have a girlfriend, 
Or even if you have a girlfriend, she'll never find out. That's even worse. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, I would this not. On the record. There you go. Play the odds, it. Nick. Play the odds. People play worse odds than that with the lottery. Well, I, well, play, I play worse odds than that. You'd be walking down the street and just see some girl like, you, now. And then all of a sudden, like, you get a tumor on your neck. You're like, God damn it. The <laughs> first, odds are the like, first time. One time. <laughs> Is that a mole? <laughs> what are the odds of that? One in a hundred, of course. Oh, one in a hundred, of course. <laughs> I, knew I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> what, Alex? Nah, I wouldn't do it. Of course not. I don't want cancer. Uh, I have a girlfriend, so I'm okay. okay. That's the, that's the defense. Hmm. All right. Hmm. So, you can grow your penis oh. however big you want it. I need that. But for every quarter of an inch you grow it, someone randomly dies. Maybe anybody would in the world? Would you do it? And how many times would you do it? It'd be in, anybody in the world? Anybody in the world. It's every quarter inch. Yes. Four times. Out of one inch. I, I will be, listen, don't want to get too many now. People's deaths are on your hands now. Sorry. Probably literally in that. Because you gain an inch and all you got to do is play with that new inch you got. Yep. <laughs> it, I, I mean, hey. Uh, Nick, morally, would you grow um, your dick? Man, you know, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Not even just once. No. I don't think I'd take it either. I wouldn't. I could. I wouldn't. I couldn't do it just once because one person's life for a quarter inch is enough. But four people's life for a whole inch, sure. That's a bargain. Yeah, because yeah, if you do it once, you're kind of just a jerk. You killed one dude, and, and you didn't get not that much really out of noticeable. It. Yeah, it's might as well like, kill four people. Yeah. And then two, you're still a dick. I mean, it's a little noticeable, but it's not. But enough think to of it this anything. way: think of let's, let's do proportions here. There's seven billion people, and Alex only has four inches. So one inch increase is like. <laughs> Uh, 20, 25%? 125%? Well, however the well, math know, goes whatever. in that one. It's like 25% increase, and he's taking a completely abysmal tiny percentage of the population to do it. Yep. Amen. Okay. More people yeah. die from, like, vending machines. Yep. That's like freaking 60 people a year or something like that. Yeah. Some, so stupidly, high, some so. stupidly high number. I broke some records. <laughs> I broke some records. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> What's the record? Uh, I do that. For oh, some reason, God. I know this. The last time I checked was like 13 and a half or something like okay. that. Okay, so someone close to you dies from doing that. Do you think it's your fault? Ooh. Are the random deaths... Uh, you don't like, know why? They just happen. Well, I'm saying, like, are they spontaneous no. or are they like they die like in a car accident? Like, it's as if, like, the, yeah, it's like car accident or whatever. Just something happens to kill them yeah. rather than they but die. Oh, yeah, I would... But yeah, it's not just it like a heart them. attack or something, right? Because no. that would be like... Ugh. Yeah, that would. Uh, I would probably blame myself. But then again, my my dick sitting longer. So <laughs> oh, oh man! Oh, Maybe Nick my girlfriend died. will sleep with me now. Nick died. <laughs> man, what if that was my fault? Nah, <laughs> it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, this you one's for you, buddy. You get a quarter inch to get a phone call immediately. It's Go like back to that tab you were before you read that oh, new story. Yeah. <laughs> Someone messaged you up. Nick just died a horrible death. You look down at yourself. And I'm like, well, close that. I'll worry about that later. I'm back to that tab. <laughs> <laughs> Here's just one second. Uh, I'd do it. Sure. Four times. Oh, yeah. Nah, I'm good. Nah, no thanks. <laughs> no, no dick growth. No. I, I'm not going to say anything more there. He so, thinks he's got enough. He pleases his girlfriend, so why not? Or whatever oh, he does. <laughs> <laughs> whatever he does. Okay, you can get any job that you've ever wanted ever. You can do anything. You can be comfortable doing it. But uh, in order to get it, you have to break the world record for most times jerked off in one day. How many is that, Alex? I think it's around 64. I was going to say, you probably know this. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, did, he, did I he, got, he got edged out a couple years ago. I looked it up and I was like... 64 times in a saying, day? I, think I remember so. being like, Man. get a power bar and an IV and I'm good saying, to go. I could do that. <laughs> I remember being younger and like being able to yank it out like four or five times a day and like being like, oh, that was too much. Was at that the it? End of that. Being like disgusted. Four or five times, yourself. that was it? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
Never mind. Hey, go ahead, brag about it. <laughs> Nick, let us know. What's your record, Nick? What's your record, Nick? Jesus. It, no, I probably did it eight or nine times. I think my record's probably like ten. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that was like up there. Because four first, or five times, that doesn't sound like that long of a day. When you first find out about it, and you're like, oh, man, that is amazing. When you're like 16, you get your first, like, kind of like touch of internet access, and it's like one of those days, like spring break or something, where you don't have anything going on. Uh, oh, you remember, like, the first time you had access to the internet and no one around? Like, how horrible that was? You might, like, pretend like you weren't going to do it. You're like, all right, check my email. Do, but the whole time you're just anticipating, like, uh, I know what I'm uh, on here for. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I'm here. No headphones, <laughs> speaker up. <laughs> the Playing neighbor's still Playing here. it ballsy. <laughs> Forgot Grandma was home. I don't know what he was doing in the living room. But there was a lot of moaning. <laughs> there was shouting. I think there was a fight. <laughs> Alright. I'm, I'm pretty sure it. I heard a horse. I'm going to change it. What, <laughs> Nick? What are you watching? You're a <laughs> sick big freak. I'm just, I'm just okay. with the, I'm going to change it from ba- breaking the world record to you have to do it 20 times a day. Every day for the rest of your life. I always wanted to break. No way. Every day for the rest of your life? Yeah. Uh, no. But well, no. you get your dream job. Yeah. And well, then what's the point of your dream job? Because if you're jerking off 20 times a day, you ain't getting laid. <laughs> your dick's raw meat the whole time. What if I you, don't care how much lube you What use. if you make your dream job be solo masturbation videos? There you, you just go. Make 20 a day. You're making bank at that point. <laughs> you gotta make 20 a Does day. Does the dream job come with, like, the realistic pay of the dream job oh, that we absolutely. want? Or is it, like, a dream job as in we get whatever it's job we want job. and we make a million dollars doing it? A dream uh, job has a dream salary. With- it comes with ah, the salary. See, I like, I like it comes with the salary that job gets. If your oh. dream job is so, so if CEO you're, like of Apple computers, better. you're gonna be uh, pretty well off. But if for some reason your dream job's like, I'm gonna get know. sued for sexual harassment because it's gonna be like, I gotta this jank this out twenty times a day. So it's I got a medical condition. I Sorry, got a medical condition. Between between two and four, don't come in my office. <laughs> I gotta do something like so. You try like to do it six times. You yeah. wake up in the morning. You gotta get five out of the way. You, got <laughs> you wake up an hour you before you're supposed to go to work. <laughs> All right. God. Cue up, the, get cue up the playlist. Just get a prescription of Viagra. <laughs> There's no recharge either, so you're going to start shooting blanks really early on. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Yeah. oh. <laughs> you're going to need, help. You're gonna need hormones and You would never have kids. No. <laughs> you never like said, what's the point of the dream <laughs> job? You're not going to get laid. You got no time because all you do is trying to get your dick hard so you can jerk <laughs> it off so you can keep this fucking job. That apparently is useless oh, now. Oh, dream job. President of the sperm bank. <laughs> <laughs> you're helping so many people. You don't get paid You're not anybody. helping anybody with freaking nothing. Like, your sperm doesn't have time to grow. You're dry even. They don't need to dick. know. And at some <laughs> they point, will. And at some point. How are they going to know that? How are they going to know sperm? that? You don't think people in a sperm bank can tell if your sperm even has sperm in it? <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know. I own the sperm. They put numbers in that stuff. <laughs> at some point, it just becomes a chore, too. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got to jerk it. Like it takes all the now. fun out of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah all the weird now. porn you're going to start getting into because, like, what you're used to, like, a week into it is no longer going to be doing it for you. It's like, oh, I guess i got to start looking up chicks with dicks now. I'm not into this lesbian stuff anymore. <laughs> okay, we know. No, right, more about Alex from, than we want. You dude. jump from lesbian porn to chicks with dicks. That's a pretty quickly. You've exacerbated yeah. everything. You've been doing this for a year now. So in a year. 20 three, times a day. 365 20 times. days a year. That's like seven thousand times more than that but jesus jesus fucking christ yeah. i would i can't i don't think i wouldn't I do it 20 times a day I, i'd do it breaking the record once but i don't even geez. think i could do that i, I try i don't think i could. I try my hardest i think after you're i call in work i'm like to, i ain't coming in today hey i've got to take a day off uh, <laughs> everything okay uh, 7300 yeah. times a year you've jerked off Man, it's like strap a battery on them or something. Get like <laughs> static electricity, get some power going. You imagine how. <laughs> you you have to start right. switching hands because a couple weeks into it, it'd be really obvious oh, you, what you're doing. You ripped <laughs> off on one arm. You imagine one how man. gnarled your dick looks like oh, at God. the end of that? Like after a week, just so raw. You've jerked it a hundred times this week. Super no, smooth. No, I'm telling you, if you're. If you're in that situation, within a week of it, you'd come up with a system. You would like not be doing it with you get bare one of those, hands. You get one of those like things that you can't grip, get a hold of, like the grip snakes thing. Yeah, exactly. And you just wrap that around your dick, and you just like <laughs> <laughs> you jerk it off with like I, 
Oh God! Like you come up with something real quick. Well, if you're gonna, if you know you're gonna be jerking off twenty times a day, your company becomes like <laughs> masturbation <laughs> assistants yeah. or something. <laughs> Start buying flashlights. Sex Fuck sport. yeah! Use a shake weight to prepare yourself for what you're gonna do. Yo, what if you uh, reach a point where it's just like? It's like, I've done this like a thousand times. I got it's not s- doing it for me anymore. I, I, I got can't sponsored do it. by Gatorade because I get dehydrated too much. <laughs> and I got out that this dude jerks off 20 times a day. So. <laughs> I need you all out of my office from 2 to 4. 4 o'clock rolls around. Somebody walks in to like hand you a memo. You're all sweaty. It's like, what have you been doing in here? <laughs> Working. Working hard. God. Running this company. I didn't think I'd keep this job. <laughs> <laughs> Keeping my job. Keeping my job. Keeping my job. Somebody knocks on the door at 3.45. 15 more minutes! What have I told you? Make it 45. I gotta restart. (laughs) God damn it. What number? Can somebody fix the Wi-Fi? Was that 16 (laughs) or 17? Oh, God. Oh, oh, losing man. count. You no, you would not lose you count. Keep tally you would have shit. you'd have like four different freaking agendas and we'd be like, alright. Like, right. Oh you'd 20. have like a notepad on a necklace. You'd never <laughs> leave it anywhere. <laughs> How many times have been today? This is my masturbation log. <laughs> Get one of those umpire tick things. What happens if you're like you're at like nineteen, but it's like eleven thirty at night, and you just can't do it. Oh, you can't get it up. You oh, just can't God. get it. Oh, and then like you've been drinking, <laughs> so you got the whiskey dick. Does oh. it have to be masturbation, or can you actually get assistance? It on? Has to be masturbation. God, not just what if, what if they grab your hand? Mutual <laughs> masturbation. They taught us that in sex ed. That is a after petting. After petting. <laughs> what? <Some laughs> <of those days. laughs> Mutual masturbation is where you touch each other. Hey, that's, no, that's not no. Yeah, you are touching your own dick. But what, You're what if they grab your hand? Okay, that could... That could I mean, you got two hands. So I mean, you, technically, you can do whatever. But by the confines of the, the scenario we got, you can do whatever you want with your Do it with hand. your left hand. It feels like it's somebody else doing it. Sit, wait, Close sit on your arm. You sit on your arm until your arm falls asleep. And then you do it. So it feels like somebody else is doing it. What about a Dutch rudder? Like, like someone grabs your dick, but you move their hand. Does that work? <sighs> Hmm. Yeah, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Judge, you're still putting in the work. All right. Like you just start auditioning people with like soft hands. Really nice hands. Because <laughs> yours is just a callous mess. <laughs> yeah. So you were a piano player before this. It's like there's just the there's bathroom. this hot chick, but her hands are just like sandpaper. And then this man comes in at named Esteban. He's got the softest hands you could ever match. It's like. You're hired. Oh, yes. <laughs> I make it gay. I work in a soap. Uh, I don't care. I bottled coconut oil for thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you did not, did you? Oh, that sounds delightful. <laughs> oh, you did not. <laughs> We've been going on this for like seven minutes now. <laughs> right. Next one. Who's got? Right. I got one. I got, got one. one. All right. During the day, when the sun is up, okay, starting at dawn, and they get dusk, you are extraordinarily lucky. Things go your way. Just people like you. It's going nice. However, when the sun goes down, you turn to a random animal until the sun comes back up. Do I have control of myself as an animal? Yes, but it's always a different animal. Can or maybe I, not necessarily always, but it's random. Can I let somebody know that this happens to me? Uh, yes, but it's in a realistic world where, kind of like today, if you told people that, nobody would believe you unless they witnessed it. God, yes. What I'm saying is, it happens, so I bring... Someone to my house, explain what's going to happen, hire them as my handler. So as soon as I turn as an animal, I need you to make sure I don't get killed. Because if I come out as a deer during deer season, I'm being <laughs> shot. Yeah. I don't want that shit. Or a dog. I'll go ahead and say you'll never be put into an animal that would not be like... Like you're not going to turn into like a giant squid in the middle of like... like downtown. Downtown, right. All right. Um, yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Alright. You just become like a around here, you just become like a whatever. You well, just okay, to, okay. Just what sleep. kind of luck? We're talking like, yeah, hey, I'm walking down the street, I found a dollar on the ground. Man, my lucky like, day. Like like sitcom kind of lucky. Like bad like things don't lottery. happen to you. Oh, yeah, probably. Huh. Okay. Like, you know. Yeah, like you go to the bar and you're just like, hey, you're pretty, and they're just like, oh. <laughs> For those who didn't know, he made a blowjob face. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'd do it. Yeah, sure, why not? It'd be fun. Yeah, I think I would do it too. I just think it'd be, it'd be so fun to be a different yeah. animal. I, w- I mean, honestly, that's kind of why I would do it. 
I'm like, oh, I would just have I'm a that. platypus tonight. Sweet. Then some mice are just like, oh, I'm a freaking turtle. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> I'm not going. I can't. I can't reach the door <laughs> right here. I wouldn't be trying to go out if I were a fucking animal. No. Just, Depending on the animal. Stay. See, you're lucky though, so you can tell someone, and with your luck, they believe you. Yeah. yeah. And they'd be like, you know what? That sounds crazy, but I like it. But I like it. <laughs> I'd sell that as a movie, right? Like <laughs> Adam Sandler. Here we go. So this is what happens. You're the luckiest man alive, but at night you turn into an animal. Oh, that's awesome. It's my autobiography. <laughs> Adam Sandler? <laughs> what, was that you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, your significant other and her, your mom, Ugh. or dad, depending on what your significant other is, brain switches bodies. Do you continue to have a relationship with the woman you love in your mom's body. No. I can't. No. Full on relationship, you know. Everything that comes with being in a relationship. It's nope. it's my girlfriend, but it's my mom's yes. just. No, I can't. Nick, you gotta answer this. Huh. I think you avoided this the last time I asked you. You know what? I'm sure that sounded real nice on that mic. <laughs> you know, I'd do it. You do your mom. Well, with your girlfriend's brain. We would. Uh, That's part of a relationship. You do it Amish style, just cut a hole in the sheet, you don't even have to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I mean, she's got a point. And it's not like it's my mom's consciousness. But it's your mom's body. It's the same body you would came out of. It's fucked up for you. It she, is the she same would know. She would body. Your, your mom's stretch marks on her stomach that you caused are there. Mm. You can taste it now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can taste that post. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, like a grilled cheese sandwich being pulled apart. <laughs> God, no. Shout out to Scotty. Don't <laughs> <laughs> give Scotty a shout out. shout out. Shout out to Scotty. He's a homeless man. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Andrew? No. Nah. All right. You can reverse the effects of brain change. If you have sex with your mom in your girlfriend's body. I would do it. I'd do that one. Because it's still my girlfriend's body. But it can't be like, oh, begrudgingly, this is awful. I'm putting my ding ding in you. Oh, oh, we're done. No. We're talking Passionate. how you would have <laughs> sex with your girlfriend, but your mom's consciousness is, it, is there. Is, you gotta it my, it. is it my mom's voice or my girlfriend's voice? It's Your girlfriend's voice is her body. But your mom knows. I can do it. You yeah. can you can see in your in the eyes that it's your mother. You, you feel can, the you, soul. You just know. <laughs> you I just say, don't look know. at me. Don't look it's at like, me. Gotta you gotta tell, you don't look at me. This guy be done. Don't You gotta do it from behind with your mom's brain and your girlfriend's body. <laughs> just take it. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't pull her hair. This has got. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No way. <laughs> Woo. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh man, oh, man! Ooh, Nick we... went there. <laughs> oh, this has got to be a description of this video. <laughs> Might even find out. Find out, out. <laughs> find out. their mom. Find out what happens when the crew's guy girlfriend's brains get switched with their mom. Someone <laughs> pulls someone's hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, Willie, Nick. what about you? No, you I. If you had seen my mom. <laughs> Okay, have you seen my That's mom? That's what you're basing that on? If you seen my mom, <laughs> yeah, I, seen his mom. I couldn't physically like be in a relationship with my girlfriend anymore. <laughs> it's sorry, and you just And leave. then like walk away. The idea of my mom being present while I'm trying to do my <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> is just disgusting to me. Like it, it's like your mom is standing in the corner watching you, except for she feels it, oh. she tastes it, ah. she smells it. Ah. She's judging you. She's judging you. And what'd be even worse is so that's you, your go-to move. Well, if you start doing something, like, oh, your dad does the same thing. Ah. <laughs> I said no talking. No. Oh. Oh. Oh, your oh, dad's just right. an eat bigger right. than you are. I think we could end on that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jesus, there's nothing Christ. more to say now. Uh, so, uh, thanks. That's hey, been our podcast. Thanks uh, for listening. For those of you who have I'm made sorry. it this far, you're a trooper. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you liked it, 
Like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out our Facebook page, check us on Twitch. I know we've been streaming lately, so uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, listening, not watching. There's no video. <laughs> hey, <laughs> thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Thanks. Right. Sorry. Can we say thank you one more time, guys? Thanks. 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 Sorry, moms. Hey, guys. <laughs> and girlfriends. Thank you. Sorry, Nick's mom. You did deserve that. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about Nick. Uh, she ain't listening to this. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.